Hey everybody. Um, remember, I do have a YouTube channel, uh, Knockout Productions. I can't believe in January it marks the year of making videos. I can't remember the last time I stuck to something this religiously. I love the feedback and networking that comes uh, from this. It's something I would eventually like to turn into a career, so keep the commentary, subscriptions, and ideas coming, guys. Um, I love it, and thank you for watching. For real. <laughs> Tonight, I want to talk um, more in depth about toxic people in our lives. I've addressed it in other videos, but I want to go more in depth with it. I think we're all guilty of keeping toxic people around because we have ideals and good intent, but sometimes you have to look at the measure of effect people have on your inner peace and realize that who you surround yourself um, with affects you, and I'll art articulate why. Um, so bad people are who make good people bad people, okay? There is nowadays what seems to be a lack of humanity in society and empathy because we are seeing a wave of entitled selfish brats who don't ultimately um, understand the best thing for us each as individuals is to have a cohesive and supportive social structure. They probably don't even know what social structure is. I have no idea. <laughs> what do I mean by bad people? I mean the people who do not extend you the same mutual respect that is expected of you. The people who take from the quality of your life rather than add to it. Um, it's in our nature to adapt. That's how we learn from little babies. We still have our evolutionary predisposition to survive, and that's by mimicking and learning from our surroundings, because subconsciously, even though survival requires minimal effort anymore, in our particular culture anyway, it is still how we're programmed. So say you want to be sober. Say you want to have a good day. I don't care if it's your cousin, uncle, sibling, aunt, best friend of 20 years. If you're being mistreated, understand the person who is going to pay the price is you. It's going to deteriorate your resolve and put a filter on your conscious mind on how you see the world. So nothing makes me want to box a bitch more than her being rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, but no, that's not who I want to be. For example, if you wake up, you have a roommate or your spouse or whatever, what is your day going to look like if you realize something throughout the night got stolen? Um, well, now you're mad. Your anxiety is set up for the day. You're angry. Now you gotta go buy a locking knob, call them out. You know, your day is automatically, every experience you have throughout the day, it's gonna be filtered by this injustice of behavior, which has essentially victimized you. Alternatively, say you wake up and your roommate or spouse or whatever did the dishes and cleaned the house because they knew you were working a long schedule and they just want to help you out. That starts your day out good. You're alleviated of extra stressors and feel more inclined um, to perhaps help them out or someone else out and the mood is set for the day. Um, the important thing to understand is everything we are, everything we experience in a day, pulls to the forefront of your mind, impacts your actions and everything we do. We are our actions. This goes back to the um, video I did, The Importance of Humor, when I was depressed every day and I started a full immersion playing on the idea of everything you're exposed to pulls that to the front of your mind. Our mind is a habit. What we are exposed to will program how we function. I can't stress this enough. It is okay to expect mutual respect. It is good to not enable negative behaviors in your life because you are the only person who is going to reliably put yourself first in your own life. And oftentimes, in order to get, we have to give. Okay? So, it's okay to be the nice person first. You're you're helping, okay? <laughs> Think about who you want to be. There's been many scenarios where I've left friendships or relationships because I don't want to be the person they were turning me into. I don't want to think about what so-and-so said and how this injustice, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't want to deal with bullshit every day. I want to do what I want to do that makes my life awesome. It might sound hokey, but think about what it actually takes to be a good person. Almost nothing at all. Um... And just like with politics and every other socialized structure bigger than our day-to-day -day lives, the change begins with us. Um, we need to tell people when they are doing well. We need to treat others the way that we want to be treated. We need to understand that everyone has struggles and makes mistakes. And as long as they're trying to remedy it and be a better person, that should be reinforced. But all we do is hate. Like, oh, well, you draggy bitch, you got your kids taken. That's the one I always hear. It's like, you know what? 
I'm doing better. I did everything I could. You know, like, what do you want from me? I don't have a time machine, do you? <laughs> we need to understand that everyone has struggles and makes mistakes, okay? The only way we make ourselves and this world a better place is to extend what we want to see from others and stop enabling what we don't. Do we want understanding and empathy? Yes, we do. You might be nervous you're going to lose people by setting these boundaries, but if they're worth having around, you will have the interpersonal relationship you want. If they can't offer mutual respect, what good are they? They aren't going to do anything other than stress you out. In you know, if I've learned anything. I used to be really bad at setting boundaries. I've improved and, you know, people rise to the occasion and I have a great social support network right now. Um, it's okay to be you. It's okay to expect to be treated right. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Gaslighting is a real thing. Google it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Any ideas on topics, please let me know. Have a good night, guys.